Hi there viewers and welcome back to this new video on cart and checkout customization. When it comes to checkout options, you can enable some features like let your clients reorder products easily or organize their browsing experience. So let's have a look together. Okay, so let's go to our website application first and then we click on configuration and settings. So here, if we go to the checkout process section, we have a few options that we want to enable. For example, the add to cart. So what should be done when your customer clicks on add to cart? Either he can stay on the product page, either he can go directly to his cart, or he can just decide. And that's what we're going to activate. Now, we also have the option to add a buy now button, which uh, allows your customers to directly check out instead of having to add to their cart. Now, the extra step during checkout option will allow you to add a customizable form after the delivery step. You can configure it from here or directly from the front end while you're in the checkout step. And that's what we're going to do exactly later on. You can also allow your customers uh, to reorder from portal. So the ones that have portal access can add the items they previously ordered to their cart. So after having checked or not all of these options, we save it and then we'll just go to our shop and see what it looks like. So let's go to this product. And as you can see, the buy button appears just here. Now know that you can also add this button from the website builder by clicking on edit and then go to the customize tab. And you can uh, add it by activating the button here. Okay, so let's discard this and let's add the product to the cart. Now we see that the options that we activated earlier are uh, appeared here. So the customer can choose between continue shopping or proceed to checkout. Now, since I, want you to since I want to show you the next step, I will click on proceed to checkout. So here we are on the review order step. From this page, if we click edit, we can activate a bunch of options, like for example, oh, sorry, like for example, uh, the accept terms and conditions, which will then appear in a later stage of the purchase. And we can choose to remove the B2B fields, for example, because they're not interesting to us right now. Okay, so I will save all of this, and now we will proceed to the next step, which is delivery. Now, here we already have registered addresses as we are loyal customers, but if you're a newcomer, you can just click on add, ad add address and type in your address in the fields. Or if you activated the Google address autocomplete option in the settings, then your client can type the beginning of his address and it will autocomplete the rest. You can find how to set up Google address autocomplete on our documentation. So from here, I can confirm the delivery and the billing addresses. And now we are in the extra step where the users can add more information or files if needed. As I said earlier, we can edit this extra step page by going here to edit, customize, and then we can just edit all the fields thanks to the website builder. So for example, if I take this field here, uh, actually, let's first uh, modify the title. We don't want it to be extra info, but we want it to be uh, write your message because this field is going to be for people to write a gift message that goes along with their order. So we're going to say add your gift message. That's better. There you go. Now here, instead of reference, we are going to go here in the label of the field and we're going to title it add your message here. And the bottom field, which lets your customers upload a file, we are going to leave because they can add their own card. So I'll just change the title with upload, instead of your document, your um, own card. There you go. Now, as this message is not mandatory, I'm just going to uh, toggle this button so that it is not a required field. Let's save and let's proceed to checkout. Okay, now we are in the payment step. Once I'm here, I can see the terms and condition checkbox over here and agree to it. And now I have the option to, uh, to choose between uh, payment with my credit card or with uh, other payment options such as PayPal. We'll explain more about the payment options in another video, so be sure to check this out. And that's it for today. Make sure to read our online documentation for more info about this topic and see you in the next one.